Hi y'all, I'm Angie. Welcome to my channel where I do stuff. If you're new here, thank you for joining me. And if you're a returning subscriber, thanks for coming back. In today's video, I am down at the beautiful Brazos River uh, in between Brazos and Burleson County. I am at Whiskey Bridge. Um, I came down because I got information that it's possible that an entire side of the bank sloughed off into the river. I came down at a different point than I usually do, so I haven't gone around the corner to see what it looks like yet. Everything you need to know about today's video is down in the description box, so let's go take a look. So for the most part, it doesn't look that different. I mean, the river changes every single day. Like there is a lot of erosion. Um, it's been really, really steep angled like this for years. So um, I'm going to go to that little grassy patch and go around. I'm thinking maybe that's where some sloughed off uh, given the pictures that I saw. So um, anyway, we're gonna walk over there and then uh, who knows what we might find on the way. I did bring some fossil hunting equipment with me. So let's see. So of everything that I've looked at so far, this is really the only part I see that's recent erosion. Um, I can also tell you that's really hard. Whoops. That's really hard to stand on because of the angle. And this really isn't the best day to come out here looking for shark teeth either because the ground is still wet. Um, it was uh, it was frosty this morning and it rained the day before and it's gonna be raining all day tomorrow. And the shark teeth blend in when the mud gets dark. I am kind of wondering what that block is down there. I've watched way too much true crime. Anyway, so we're gonna see what we can find. Stay tuned. Okay, so I have a philosophy about this and it may not be, I live in this area. I live like 20 minutes away from here. So for me to trudge through all of this mud doesn't make a lot of sense. It's a little cold. I can see my breath. <laughs> um, I can't really feel my fingers. Uh, my thermostat went out last night, so I still have to go by Lowe's and pick up the replacement so I can have heat. I think I'm just gonna call it a day already, even though it's not even noon yet. <laughs> For the audience participation portion of this video, down in the comments, leave me a prediction. What do you think happened next? A, Angie went home. B, Angie fossil hunted back to the car. C, Angie fossil hunted for another two plus hours, or D, Angie immediately found a shark tooth. I'm interested to see how well you know me. If I give you like a little look around, um, right here it is extremely, uh, that's a pretty extreme angle. So I did decide to keep walking and uh, I don't know if you remember one of the last videos I did on Whiskey Bridge, but I am back at that location and there's water flowing too, so I don't know, I might go up there. I can't go much further. It ends right there. There's nowhere else to walk, so. So I don't know if y'all remember the last time I was here, there was a, like a valve or a pump or something up there. There it is. I've linked the video for you. They've gone in and put a bridge with like a culvert and stuff. Pretty cool. That's what erosion does. This is a piece of cane that came from up there. You can see it all up, piled up here. And it's slowly gotten pushed down from the runoff. 
you can see there's a very nice piece of coral right here. I am going to dig out of here. Everything is very wet and muddy. Beautiful. And there are, I don't even know what these are. There's little concretions of some sort. There's another one up there. That's what brought me over here. But that is why I came all the way. I mean, it's not even in one piece. You can see it's really broken up over here, but I've never found one like this, nor have I found one this big. So I'm gonna dig this out of here. Sorry. I wish that had been a hole. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is just crushed in here. It's a shame. But that is pretty amazing. And here's another coral. Ooh. Pretty nice. Here's another ginormous one. So I'm just gonna have to sit here and dig until it's all the way out because I don't wanna break it like I broke the other ones because they're wet and they're saturated. So if I don't dig around it completely, it'll just break off in my hand apparently. And I should have been videotaping it because this one broke off before I even got like all the way around it. You can see all I did was like touch the bottom and it broke. So I'm gonna try to dig the rest of that out of there. And then I'm gonna call it because this is not benefiting anyone. I just keep breaking the specimens, which is never good. So there's another piece of coral right here. It looks like it's already, can you even see what I'm looking at? No, <laughs> there's another piece of coral here and it's already broken off, but I'm still gonna get it out because why not? So I just grabbed this one out of the wall. It was nose in. So obviously it came out easier. I wish I didn't break those two, but I mean, I can't do anything about that at this point. So, but really my fingers are freezing. I think I'm just gonna head back. I got an email that my thermostat is ready for pickup. So I probably need to pack it up and head out of here. This is the coolest little grotto type thing. I love it. Thanks Chuck, by the way, for telling me about it. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I got a, I got a boogie. Once everything kind of dries out a little, I'll come back. It's, a, it's just too cold and muddy right now and wet. Well, I was about to make a TikTok about how mad I was that I left my inhaler at home. And I looked down and found a piece of coral right here. Ta-da! And then I looked to the right and found another one. If you've been watching my channel for any amount of time at all, and you've seen Whiskey Bridge videos, do you see what it is I am looking at that I want to pick up? What about now? Yep, it's this little tiny guy right here. So he's going and then same question. You see what I'm looking at? Yep, that little guy right there. And then there's a little Athleta right, where is it? Oh, there it is. Hard to find when you're looking through the through the phone instead of the ground. This is the largest ear stone I've ever seen. It's huge. That is an otolith, in case you were wondering. 
Just one more, I swear. I lied again. Here's one more. And here's a completely different type of coral. Um, this is an Architectonica scrobiculata. Um, Y'all know I love my little athletas. This is an Athleta uh, petrosus. And here's another one, and this is what the opening looks like when it's not broken, <laughs> which is why I find so many of them broken, because that's a pretty complicated little little corner there, but I just love these. They're so pretty. And this little guy is an Athletus Lisbonensis crocodensis. Say that five times fast. This little one is a Pseudoliva vetusta. Sorry. And I'm not sure if it's a Carinata or a Perspectiva, but if you look at this little line right here, that is a healed mark from a crab attack. This is not the only shell I found today that has that mark. I did not know that that was like evidence of that, but this, this shell survived a crab attack. And these are two more pseudolevas. So I found this monster and I mean, I'm gutted that it's broken. Um, I have no idea what this is. And there are some guesses. And then I've looked at every Stone City slash Whiskey Bridge slash Texas Eocene shell guide that I can possibly find. And I haven't found anything that looks like this, at least not at this scale. Um, I have many specimens of, uh, Latiris and um, Levi Fusus, and then there it also kind of looks like a murex a little bit up here. I have no idea. I mean, this would have to be a ginormous version of any of those because most of the shells I just mentioned in this particular formation are all like an inch and a quarter long at most. So I don't know. I wish the rest of it were here. Um, if y'all have any clue, if this is something you know about, then please leave me a comment and let me know. I'm pretty sure this is a Proto Circula Gabii. And then remember I was talking about the crab damage? Well, here's another one. And that's just so cool how you can see it grew back together and repaired itself. Again, not a perfect one. These are hard to find in one piece as well, but super cool. This little guy is a Venericardia densata. I had to use a magnifying glass on this little guy, but this is a Venericardia rotunda. I always joke that I find way too many of these otoliths. They are ear fish bone. Jeez. Um, they are fish ear bones. <laughs> They're I'm tired, y'all. I'm so, so tired. I find so many of these, but y'all, look at this one. I mean, you see the size of that compared to my fingers? I've never seen one this big before. I have no idea what this came out of. I don't know. That would be interesting to find out. This is a branch coral, Arcohelia singlii. These are the corals that I cleaned up, and... There are two different uh, varieties of Balanophilia that exist in this formation, and I do not have my uh, microscope out right now, so I can't tell you which is which. Um, I just thought that was really cool. I love coral. It's some of my favorite, but... Um, yeah, so I, I found more than this, but these are the ones that I got cleaned up. Um, I've got another one over here and a whole 
gaggle of them right there, but these are the ones I got clean first. You can see how tiny this is. That is my fingernail. Um, this is either a Lunalites or a Schizorthosychos uh, bryozoa. And these are so cool. They're really hard to identify without uh, a microscope. And mine is not out at the moment. So doing the best I can, all I can tell you is this is a bryozoa and it's one of my other favorite finds because they are so delicate. And if you watch my videos at all, you know that this little coral is one of my favorites to find as well. And I never did figure out what these little globular things were either. It looks like Kirby. <laughs> but um, yeah, no, I I was never able to figure out what those are either. Leave your best guess in the, in the comments below. Well, y'all, that's all I've got for you today. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, then if you could consider liking it or if there's someone you think might enjoy this video, share it with them because it really, really does help out the channel. And all those little things I appreciate so much. You could have been doing anything else with your day today and you chose to spend a few of those minutes with me and it means the most. So if you enjoyed today's video, I hope you'll consider subscribing because I would love to see you back here next week when I do more stuff. Bye.